Okay, darling. Um, yoga and jeans today. Uh, I I keep I feel like every single time I get on, I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't get those to you last week. Um, so you'll get four this week. Um, yeah, I had a I don't know if you've ever had an NAD like shot. I hosted the class like last Sunday and got this NAD shot, and it's supposed to like give you like energy. <laughs> Uh, it knocked me on my fucking ass for a minute. And so I was really trying to recoup all week. And then I got my period and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, on top of just doing all the things. Um, and yeah, I'm still processing like a conversation that I had with somebody about a kid here in town. And I'm just trying to like find like him some like legal counsel and you know, um, and slowly trying to like bring myself back into the space. And then Jason came in on Friday and then there was a bunch of like stuff that happened with that. I mean, it was wonderful to see him obviously always and forever, um, but he was processing a lot. And I feel like I've been holding like lots of bags for lots of people. And I had a podcast with um, this really incredible human being out of like Hawaii, um, really excited. Um, for that to air and to keep in contact with them too and they just told me a lot about like my ancestors like they did like a quick like moment of kind of like channeling and so it's just been like a really deep processing week um and i feel it um on top of the eclipse so i hope that things are good for you and all processing and things aside <sighs> yeah um that's my brief background. I'm going to Bozeman this next weekend, not this weekend, but next um, with Nelson's daughter, um, which is gonna be really incredible. I'm excited about that. She's bringing some of his ashes. Um, so that'll be emotional. So you're still like processing in that grief. And then Kaylee graduates from PA school on the second Mother's Day weekend. So there's that too, um, that I'm gearing up for. So all the things and, I t and then I worked four days at the restaurant last week too and I'm too old to do that but I'm doing that again this week too so I am <laughs> so I've just been sleeping um, that's pretty much where I'm at right now I took all day Wednesday and just slept um, that being said feeling much better today a little bit of decompression so okay love you um, let's do a little bit of yoga and for all the viewers tuning in Nice to see y'all. Thanks for letting me at like spewing a little brief on my life. This is the Dear Jane series. I create short yoga clips for my dear friend Jane. Um, and uh, yeah, they're 15 to 20 minutes. If you like them, great. Um, if you can donate money, there's links down below um, so we can continue to spread love and wellness and yoga um, here in the Montana community first to start and then looking to expand to even to a broader network so running down through our seats so the kind of the head lift high to the sky roll your shoulder blades down your back and allow yourself just to come into your breath so nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth and big and through the nose and exhale through the mouth more times. Big inhale. And exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And exhale. allowing yourself to come into some normal breath. Give gratitude to the universe, just recognizing an energy that's bigger than us that we're still collectively a part of. Give gratitude to this earth, which reminds us that we live in a space of abundance, where we have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. And yoga teaches us, right, to give it back and to generously give back to her. So thinking about the best ways to do that. Give 
their gratitude to the indigenous peoples and the lands that were ceded upon the Northern Cheyenne and the Crow, the Salish, the Blackfoot, and the Lakota tribes. And always reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. It goes thought, word, and then deed. So move into deed, and that is spelled D-E-E-D. -E -E -D. Look it up. Give gratitude for this practice of yoga and for black and brown peoples, the original creators and sustainers of it. Give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage. And if there's a person or person's place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today, you can draw them into your mind's eye. Take a nice deep inhale. Pull them all the way down into your heart center and then exhale. Send them left. And slowly go ahead and bring a little bit of movement into your heart and chest, moving through a circle for three, for two, for one, and then take it back the opposite way for three, for two, for one. Hold here. Roll right over onto your knees and shins and bring yourself right into a tabletop. Wrists are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Exhale, press and around into your cat. Inhale, heart and chest pull forward into your cat. Exhale, press and around and into your cat. Inhale, heart and chest pull forward into your cow. Again, you can always check in with your hips swishing from one direction into the other. Then exhale, press and round. Inhale, forward. Tuck your toes, send your hips back and high down dog. Take your feet wide to the edges of your mat. Press your hips back and take your left hand beyond your face in the middle of your mat. Right hand grabs for the outside of your left ankle. Turn and look up underneath your armpit. Pull, open up through your right shoulder as you pull your elbow in towards your midline. Big inhale. Exhale, release, same thing on that opposite side. Ground down and plant through your right palms of your hips. And left hand outside of left ankle, press back. Turn and look up underneath your armpit. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Let yourself just swish and sway back and forth, side to side. Low belly pulls up and in. And then inhale, hands up to the front part of your feet and shins. Wide feet, turn your toes out and heel toe your feet out just a little bit wider and then bring yourself into a wide angle forward fold to start. You can kind of put a bend in one knee, checking in with your hips. Make sure your knee doesn't come beyond your toes into your other. Toes are turned in, let yourself hang heavy here. Maybe you grab for your opposite elbows and kind of just rock yourself through your center line. Be mindful of your knees. Try to pull the crown of the head down towards the earth. Press into your palms. Turn your toes out and drop your seat down and low and into your balasana squat. Hands are gonna come to your heart line and then shift yourself back and forth side to side here. Lift through your heart and chest. Lean heavy into one hip. Lean heavy into your opposite hip. Find where you might be holding, tuck your tailbone, press into your palms, and then take your palms and plant, lift through your hips, and then heel toe your feet right back behind your wrists. Let yourself fall down and heavy over the tops of the thighs, and then inhale, hands up the front part of your feet and shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs, and then inhale, sweep. Your arms high to the sky, reach high. Breathe here and then tent through your arms. Open up through your heart and chest. If you want to send your hips forward and keep bending back, you can. Be mindful of the type of back bend you take and then inhale up and over. Engage your low belly as you pull yourself down and over the tops of your legs. Again, inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. Engage your low belly and sweep yourself high. Big inhale. 
Take your back bend again. Maybe a little bit deeper the second time. Bring yourself down and over. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, take your palms down and walk yourself out and into your bear pose. Take your knees wide and take them back to your center. Out and in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down to your knees. Release your toes, extend your right leg back behind you. Your left arm is gonna come out in front of you. Floating table. Reach back and around to grab onto the inside of your right foot with your left hand as you kick your heart and chest up and drop down through your hip. Big inhale. Breathe into the base of your belly, exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, release. And the knee come down to your mat. Exhale, round into your cow. Inhale, drive yourself forward into your cat. Or excuse me, round into your cat and drive yourself forward into your cow. And then bring yourself back to your center. Same thing on the opposite side. Extend that opposite foot back behind you. Lift and float. Big inhale here. Put a bend in your back knee. Reach around with your right hand to grab onto the inside of your left foot and kick into your hand as you point through your toes. Big inhale here. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Release. Ground and plant. Exhale into your cat. Inhale into your cow and then take your big toes back together to touch and crawl your fingertips out in front of you and bring yourself all the way down and over and into your child's pose. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. Breathe into the back side of your body. You can always crawl your fingertips out in front of you a little bit more. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And slowly shift yourself forward. Tuck your toes. And then you're going to walk your hands back. Drop down through your heels and bring yourself right down and into your Balasana squat again. Big inhale here. If you need to hop your feet wider, Hold here and then hands to center line, heel toe your feet back, right behind your wrists. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. Inhale, sweep yourself high to the sky. And then exhale. Tent your arms, pull your hands back to your heart line, and then hands come down to your sides. Okay, inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, down and over the tops of your thighs. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, palms plant. Walk yourself back out into your plank pose. Big inhale here. Tap right knee to right elbow, left knee to left for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big inhale. Drop down to the knees. Exhale. Press them around into your cow. Inhale into your cat. Good grief. Round into your cat, inhale into your cow, and then slowly bring yourself back to your center. Take your right leg back behind you, hover, left arm, right leg, and then squeeze to your center. Inhale, exhale, squeeze for four, three, two, and one. Drop, plant. Press. Same thing on the opposite side. Left leg back behind you. Lift and hover. Right arm out. Big inhale here. Exhale, squeeze. For four, three, two, and one. One more time for safe measure. And a knee come down to mat. Exhale into your cat. Inhale into your cow. Exhale, hold and tuck. Send your hips back and high down dog. Pedal it out. Slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. And then inhale, bring yourself all the way back. Fixing my bra. 
up to sit. All right, inhale, arms high. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Let's go ahead and come into a tree pose and then we'll take it down and onto our seats. Um, and then I'll try to bust that one more for you today, darling. Okay, so kick stand your foot out, hold here, big inhale. See if you can pull your foot up and then take your foot up to the inside of your thigh as you press and squeeze, knee is out, hands to heart line, big inhale. Exhale, hold. Try not to rock to the outside edge of your standing foot. Try to balance your weight between your big toe mound, your baby toe mound, and your heel. Really press the inside of the thigh and the sole of the foot together. And slowly release. Same thing on that opposite side. Ground down and plant. Pull inside arch of that opposite foot to the inside of your thigh. Press and squeeze as knee flares out. Hands to your heart line. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale, one more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, dive down and over. Inhale, hands to shins. And then exhale, ground and plant and step your feet back into your plank, drop down to your knees, roll over your knees and shins and bring yourself back and into or onto your seat. Extend through your left leg, sole the right foot to the inside of your left thigh. And then inhale, arms high, exhale, fold over. Pull the crown of the head towards the top of the foot as you keep flexing your toes back and towards your face. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands all the way back up. Same thing on that opposite side. Swing that foot out, point your toes, flex them back in towards your face. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, pull down and over. Keep pulling crown of the head in. Let your elbows pull you into the posture. Engage your low belly, pull it up and in to support your low back and spine. Then slowly walk your hands up your shins. Take your feet out in front of you. Flex your toes in towards your face. And inhale, arms high. And then exhale, fall down and over the tops of the thighs as you keep pulling the crown of the head towards the top of the feet. Hide it coax your body into releasing the very top of your hamstrings, your glutes. Nice deep inhale here. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk yourself all the way back up. Scoot your seat forward. Bring yourself down and onto your back. Pull your knees up into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Pull down through your low back. And then go ahead and release. Arms come out to the side. Pop your hips up off the mat. So low back comes up off the mat. Engage your low belly and then let your knees drop over to the left hand side. Try to keep your right knee stacked on top of your left, so pull it out a little bit further, and then turn and look out past your right fingertips. Pull your right shoulder blade down to the earth. Big inhale. And exhale. big breath, big inhale. 
and then exhale. Then squeeze the knees and drive your knees back to your center line. Pop your hips and then drop your knees over to the right as you turn and look out past your left. Big inhale. Stay with your breath and breathe into both the twist. Right, and then slowly bring yourself all the way back. Send the soles of the feet high to the sky. Big inhale here. And then go ahead and put a bend in your knees. And then send your feet all the way down to the bottom of the mat. Turn the toes out. You can take one hand to heart and one hand to belly. Allow yourself just to breathe here. Or big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Again, big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Hmm. The great spirit and creator. The Great Spirit encompasses aspects of masculinity and femininity, and there is a duality and a balance that exists within the energy of the Creator. It appears in physical form and in the formless, through the intellect and the emotion, and through the unmoved and moving. This balance energy is akin to the principle of yin and yang, and represents the duality within the universe one cannot exist without the other. And without both aspects, there wouldn't be a balance within the world itself. The Creator connects us to the vastness of our universe and the dual principles of masculine and feminine energy. These two energies are found throughout the universe and are represented in aspects in nature and are even reflected in language itself. Both are equally important in order to be respected as aspects of the Creator. Furthermore, each of us are creators aspects of the divine experiencing and expressing ourselves into the world. Our connection to that sacred light is unique and individual and it has the power to allow us to remember who we truly are. We're all creators who can manifest all things through our thoughts. We can move from the mental plane to the physical plane. We can move from the unmoved thinking energy to the movement of our lives. Since this is your card, it's a time to be the creator you're always meant to be. Remember that you're never separate from the divine, rather a drop in the eternal ocean that is unconditional love and are part of the great spirit. You have the power within you to create anything you choose. You are the creator of your own life. So harness that wisdom and all things are possible. From Wisdom of the Elders Oracle Deck by Sean Leonard. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Again, big inhale and exhale. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in you through Jane and anyone tuning in collectively and all of us. Thank y'all for sharing your practice with me and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls. When you do leave the space, be sure to go peace and remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, y'all. I'll see you on the flip side. Hope everyone has a great rest of the day, evening, morning, all those things. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace and love.